Welcome back. Uh, 11 o'clock. We should have started by now, but it's been so busy. We haven't managed to get everyone through yet. So uh, the first race will be kicking off very shortly. It's been great fun. Yeah, it's getting super busy here in Weymouth, but of course there's loads going on different places around the world. So let's just get a flavor of that. Let's have a look at the Twitter wall, see what people are saying all around the world. Morse 49er, 49er. These are two old 49er sailors. They've got back together. Stevie Morrison and Ben Rhodes won a world championship, been to the Olympic Games twice. They've got the band back together because today is important for them and that their old mate Bart Simpson. Royal Southern Yacht Club down in the Solent. Guys just about to get racing down there. Best of luck to you. Bart's Bash crew. Incredible cake. There's Ian Percy with a cake representing the ribbon. And, of course, it was Ian Percy that sailed to two Olympic medals with Bart Simpson. So a really important day for Ian, who's about to get racing here in Weymouth. Durban Bart's Bash, that shows you how global this has gone. It was meant to be a UK race. The rest of the world said, we want to get involved. Durban, South Africa, one of those places. RCN Calpi, that's the Royal Nautica in uh, Spain. So, again, just gives you a sense of just what is going on simultaneously around the world right now. And Bart's Bash in Santander, cruising around, waiting for some win. Hashtag knee to happen soon. Hashtag ferry to catch. That is Hannah Mills and Saskia Clark, our Olympic silver medalists. They need to miss that ferry if it's the difference between doing this race or not. Get your priorities, girls, your right girls, because you've got to do the race, then get on the ferry. And then sail on Bart, here we are back in Weymouth. One of the kids about to compete in the race, the third race here in Weymouth this afternoon. Don't forget, you can keep tweeting us, hashtag sail on Bart, at Bart's Bash. And I think we're going to have a little look to East Sussex and see what's been going on. We're Wood on this wonderful Sunday with this <laughs> Put a sticker on the wall, the next one in South Africa. Bossel Bay Yard Club says, Good luck with the Bart Bash! And next up, we are going back over to Australia. And this is Hillary Yard Club. Jez Payne, what an exciting day. Your 40th birthday yesterday. <laughs> Have you had a moment to celebrate yet? Organising the Bart's Bash, about to do your first ever sailing race. I, I think this day is the celebration of my 40th. I'm never going to forget this. I'm never going to forget this. It's the most incredible thing. I mean, you, you talking to the Twitter wall, Andy. We're looking at the social media um, uh, in the back end of the, uh, the sailing. And, you know, we're seeing things coming through from Sao Paulo. Durban from uh, the Netherlands and we had a picture in from Moscow it's like we know that at this moment everybody around the world involved in sailing is is out on the water or is getting ready to go out on the water or is celebrating what's just happened we've got 76 countries around the world watching the website at the moment it's it's just incredible I mean it, it's such a celebration and we're, we're so proud of everybody I mean it's it's to do with everybody who's been involved it's, it's a wonderful day what a wonderful day to start your own sailing career. Any, any nerves? No, I'm so excited. I'm, it's because I'm naive. I don't really know what's coming. Everybody I speak to and say I'm on a Dart 16, um, and then I say it's my first race ever, all just kind of give me a sort of slightly sympathetic look. But um, no, we're going to go out there, and uh, Leah, who's, who's, who's um, racing with us, who knows what she's doing, we told her that we want to win. So uh, when, when I was told that I was going to be racing a Dart 16, the first Google it to, to see what it was, and it was a picture of this boat which was up on one hull with two people leaning over the side. So I just I want to do that. Amazing. But you've just got so much on your plate today, Jez. But you must be delighted how it's going. It's it's brilliant. We we are all so so proud of.
for everybody to be so involved. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just overwhelmed. People of all abilities, all shapes and sizes yep. doing this race. I mean, it, it's come one, come all today, isn't it? It is. Uh, and I think we are the youngest person sailing today that we know of so far is four years old. They're sailing their first race. Um, Henry, I think his name is. Uh, and he's sailing for the first time on his own. His dad's following him, but he's on his own in a boat. And the oldest person is 96. So, I mean, we are across... We're across the whole generations. It's brilliant. And that's what sailing's about. It's about a community and everybody coming together. And I'm just amazed to be a part of it now. Well, I believe that Charlotte is going to be speaking to some of the sailors down on the foreshore. We're about to get going with the race in about another hour's time. <laughs> yeah. Best of luck to you, Jez. Charlotte, let's find out what you know. I found some young friends. Guys, how are you doing? Ellie, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Are you excited to sail today? Yeah. And who will you be sailing with? Ben. With Ben. Ben, how are you doing? Good. Uh, now, I believe you've already been in the water today. Tell me a bit about that. Uh, we're doing a Pico challenge, so who can do the fastest to a boy and back? And I got wet. You got wet? You're not supposed to jump in. You're supposed to sail. I capsized. Oh, he capsized. He's capsized once already. No capsizing again today, though. No. <laughs> are you going to win? No. I mean, the confidence is brimming. I love it. <laughs> Guys, good luck. Don't fall in. And then last, by no means least, we've got Joshua. How are you doing, Josh? Great. Now, this little lad was uh, on the Twitter wall earlier holding a registration sign. Is that right? Yep. How are you feeling? Are you more confident than Ellie? Don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> Guys, we're going to win this. We've got this going. And then um, can we just have a little demonstration of how these work? Can you put them on for me? Look at that. And, the, you know, you fall in, they're still going to stay on your face. You're still going to look cool? Maybe. Who have you got with you today? Um, myself. You come by yourself? You drove yourself here? Well, no. Well, my parents are on the side and stuff. So they've come to support you, have they? And are they going to be cheering you on from inside the, uh, the centre? Yes. And you're sailing by yourself? Well, for one race I am, which is at 2 o'clock, but I think at 11 o'clock to 12.30, I'm going on a four men boat so you don't need anyone else you don't need me to come along with you don't know do you want me to come along with you i'm not very good i, I think i'll probably stay on dry land joshua thank you very much can we have a little another tweet later on do you think of when you finished your race maybe maybe oh this guy's leaving me in suspense i love it guys thank you very much um for you know getting involved don't fall in again please i'm a little bit concerned for you you're gonna get too wet today it's about staying in the boats and winning the races uh, let's have a little look at the rest of the uk and how they've been prepping for bart's bash here we are in santander getting ready for the start of bart's bash as you can see it's very tense on the water not much wind <laughs> a lot of drifting and i think a few sore heads will the people behind make it in time Give us a wave, Kate! It's Kate and Dave. Followed by Kat, drifting a bit further behind. And the Irish in the distance. Good luck, all Bart Slashers. I'm here at Saundersfoot Sailing Club in Pembrokeshire, West Wales, to investigate a little bit more about an event we've been hearing called Bart's Bash. This is the Bart's Bash Committee. You've come to the right place for the Bart's Bash Committee. Yes, we certainly are. We're yeah. getting ready for the race today. Um, all set up, lovely trophies polished, mm. got the Noah's Ark Bart's uh, fancy dress trophy going as well. Plenty of people involved in that. Sanderford Sailing Club is really pushing the boat out for the weekend. 30, 37 <laughs> so boats, 45 people involved. We've got 25 people helping on the, land, on, on the land crew, helped out by local clubs, rowing clubs, mums and dads, everybody's here. And we're getting it all set up, ready to go. And one of our, Youngsters over there now, you might not like see him setting up his boat ready to go. Excellent. And the forecast for today? Forecast is looking good. It's a good two to three, nice few nice little gusts out in the bay, no mm. waves, and we're looking for a great race. Yeah, so if you want to come and join us, we'll enjoy the festivities on the water and off the water. We can have a great day, and it's for a great charity. See you on the water, guys. See you then. Anya is one of the competitors here in Weymouth. Welcome, Anya. What kind of boat are you sailing today? Um, I'm sailing a Hansa 303 with um, Chasel Sailability Team. Okay, and what, what are your hopes for the race? Not long to go now. Um, not to hit everybody. <laughs> they're quite small boats and they're quite low down. We've just twigged that we're going to be at eyeline of everyone's bowsprit, so we're hoping we don't get 
pokes in the head. <laughs> so crash helmets? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we just want to get out there and be part of it all, really. It's pretty windy out there. Any any concerns are you fine out in, the, in that windy stuff? Um, we've sailed out in windy stuff like this before, so um, hopefully it'll be okay. It's a race team here, so everyone's done lots of sailing before. So how many Hansers have you got racing today? Um, we've got five Hanser 303s, which are the single-handed, and then one... yourself i mean you're a brave man yeah i sail a hands to liberty which is a specially adapted boat and uh, i use electric control system which involved in a day like today for you guys oh, it's brilliant to be part of the sailing community is is what we're all about and not being on the sidelines to be in the middle of things. Um, it's just a great sport and we can be uh, equal with anybody on the water. So it's just fantastic. And how long have you involved, involved you know, with this charity and sailing yourself? Uh, I've sailed uh, disabled for five or six years now, um, but this is the um, second year Chesil Sailability has been running and being next door neighbours to the Andrew Simpson Foundation, uh, it's great to support the cause. Well, two fantastic charities, and I'm, you guys are braver than I am because it looks pretty scary out there, so I'm quite glad that I'm not getting involved. Um, I'm going to jump over and come and have a word with my Andy. Hello. Should we go in with Hello, them? darling. No, no, let's let them get on, get on with it. They, they are incredibly brave yeah. taking on these conditions. It looks pretty windy out there, but it's going to be a great race, and that's coming up in about 50 minutes' time here in Weymouth. Final preparations for the sailors, just checking the course, just checking that everything on the boat is okay. We will be back for the start of that race, which is at midday local time here in Weymouth.